The International Space Station has a new neighbor. China's very own Tiangong Space Station is now ready and in orbit. When you think about space exploration and crewed spaceflight, it is heavily dominated by countries like the United States and Russia. With the ISS reaching the conclusion of its long tenure in space, it may be safe to assume that there is now a new sheriff in town, or should I say, space. With the completion of Tiangong, China has become a major space power. How did the country develop its own space station? What advancements does it have compared to the ISS? If you are a lover of space facts, keep watching up to the end of the video to learn everything about this new Chinese sanctuary in space. China's Rise to a Majority Space Power When we talk about space dominance, the US and Russia are the two leading giants that control space. But there is one emerging country that wants to join the modern space race, China. Chinese space exploration started way back in 1964, just seven years after, in 1971, the Soviet Union launched the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth. China took its first official step into space, launching and retrieving an experimental biological rocket carrying white mice. In 1970, China achieved another huge milestone as they launched their artificial satellite, Dongfang Hong-1, making them the fifth country to send satellites into orbit. The Chinese space industry seemed to be flourishing in the 70s and 80s. However, due to funding constraints, the space missions briefly slowed down. In 1999, after nearly 30 years without any substantial progress in space, China successfully launched its first unmanned spacecraft, the Shenzhou-1. This launch marked a fresh beginning for the Chinese space industry. China became the third country after the US and Russia to send a man into space with its own rocket. Taikonaut Yang Liwei spent roughly 21 hours in space aboard the Shenzong 5 spacecraft. Since then, China has been making its mark in the space industry, dispatching multiple manned flights, launching a lunar orbiter, and landing rovers on Mars. But in 2011, China started its most ambitious endeavor ever. The Tiangong-1, or Heavenly Palace-1, China's first space lab, was launched to carry out docking and orbit experiments. China also launched their second experimental space lab, Tiangong-2, in 2016. After two test versions, the core module of the final version of Tiangong, Tianhe, was launched in April 2021, and the first Taikonauts arrived that June. The next module went up one year later in July 2022, and in November 2022, the dream of establishing a sanctuary in space by the Chinese has become a reality. How did China construct its very first space station? How did it differ from the ISS? China's journey on building its very own space station After an allegation from the US that China was secretly stealing intelligence from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, the Wolf Amendment Bill was enacted, which prohibits NASA from engaging in a direct, bilateral collaboration with the China National Space Administration CNSA. After that, Taikonauts and their Space Administration were barred from accessing and boarding the International Space Station. China's response? Building their own space station, Tiangong. To prepare for the monumental space station, China launched two test space stations, Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2. The first of these, launched in 2011, was visited many times by Chinese taikonauts, who tested docking procedures with cargo ships. But tragically, the station was decommissioned in 2016 after the CNSA lost contact with it. It could not control the station's re-entry impact point, resulting in a fiery return to Earth that infuriated critics in the US and other rival countries because of the threats it posed to the civilians. After the tragic re-entry of Tiangong-1, the second test station, Tiangong-2, was launched in 2016. It was a shorter-lived test station meant to study living conditions in orbit, including producing food and measuring radiation levels. The station, on the other hand, had a controlled descent, burning up over the Pacific Ocean in 2019. With the data they have acquired from the previous space stations, in February 2020, a total of 11 launches were planned for the whole construction phase of the Tiangong Space Station beginning in 2021. The construction formally began in April 2021, when the Tianhe core module was launched into orbit on the Chinese heavy lift launch vehicle Long March 5B rocket. In the course of less than two years, the CNSA conducted multiple spacewalks to test the components of Tiangong and made important alterations to its main modules. Finally, in late 2022, the fantasy sanctuary in space became a reality. Let's take a look at the Chinese space station Tiangong. 
China has finally completed the construction of its three-module T-shaped Tiangong space station and conducted its first crew handover, welcoming aboard three Taikonauts from Shenzhou 15. After a successful test run on Tiangong 1 and Tiangong 2, the Chinese space station is ready to be the new home of the Taikonauts in space. Unlike the collaborative, US-led International Space Station, Tiangong is entirely built and maintained by China. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's explore what the Tiangong has to offer. The Tiangong space station consists of five primary modules. The Shenzhou, which acts as the crew module or the lifeboat, two scientific labs, Wentian and Mengtian, will host numerous space experiments. Tianzhou, which is the robotic cargo ship, and Tianhe, the core module, which contains the primary living area for the Taikonauts. First, let's talk about the core module, where the Taikonauts will spend most of their time, the Tianhe core module. Tianhe, or Harmony of the Heavens, was the first module to launch as part of the last phase of the Tiangong program. The Tianhe core module provides life support and living quarters for three crew members and provides guidance, navigation, and orientation control for the station. The living quarters feature a kitchen, toilet, fire control equipment, air processing and control equipment, computers, scientific apparatus, and ground communication equipment. Not just that, the module comes with a larger robotic arm, which they call the China Arm. It can transfer subsequent modules or resupply vehicles to other ports on the core module. The China Arm can also be used as backup for docking relocation. The 50 feet, 15 meter China Arm has greater mobility greater weight carrying capacity, can be stretched, and features seven axes of motion to move. Electrical power is also provided by two steerable solar power arrays, which utilize photovoltaic cells to produce electricity. Energy is saved to power the station as it moves into the Earth's shadow. The Tianzhou, a Chinese automated cargo spaceship, will replenish fuel for the module's propulsion engines. It has pressurized, semi-pressurized, and unpressurized cargo capabilities and is able to transport airtight cargo, large extravehicular payloads, and experiment platforms. Tianzhou also has a propellant capacity of 2 metric tons of monomethylhydrazine fuel and nitrogen tetroxide oxidizer, including transfer propellant for the space station. Now let's go to the two experiment modules of the Tiangong, Mentiang and Wentian. These experiment modules attach to the Tianhe core module as Taikonauts perform research in biotechnology, microgravity, and space material science. It also provides a pressurized environment for researchers to conduct scientific experiments in free fall or zero gravity, which could not be conducted on Earth for more than a few minutes. Experiments can also be placed outside the modules, allowing exposures to the space environment, cosmic rays, vacuum, and solar winds. It also features a miniature robotic arm like the China Arm, used to manipulate extravehicular payloads. Both of them even include two steerable solar panel arrays as a source of its electrical power. Even though the station has just recently been completed, over 25 research projects are already on their way. Chinese state news media reported that the crew took some 12,000 seeds, including alfalfa, oats, and fungal seeds to the space station and exposed them to cosmic radiation and microgravity for six months. The Tiangong station, however, is far smaller and lighter than the ISS, weighing roughly 80 to 100 tons with only five modules, compared to the ISS's 400 tons connected with 16 modules. That is nearly one-fifth of the mass of the ISS. While the ISS at some point hosted a maximum of seven crew members, the Tiangong is now ready to handle three. Tiangong is an important component of the Chinese space industry's future, as they will utilize the station to also propagate their ambitions on landing a spacecraft on Mars and, believe it or not, a base on the moon.